Hi, welcome to the first CTICFF University Partnership Meeting held at CTICFF headquarters in Manado, Indonesia. The event is a continuation of MOU signings between CTICFF and reputable universities back in 2016. On 13 October 2016, CTICFF and four prominent universities in Indonesia signed MOUs in IPB Bogor. On 16 November 2016, CTICFF signed an MOU with UMT or University Malaysia Trengganu. On 13 November 2016, CTICFF Sign an MOU with GCU or James Cook University. So today, all parties are convening here at CTICFF Regional Secretariat Building to exchange and discuss various challenges and opportunities of the university partnership. That's why the theme of the two-day event is Building Tangible Program Actions for Capacity Building and Research Collaboration. During the two-day event, there will be three focus of discussion that will be reached referring to the following themes. First, Capacity Building, Challenges and Strategic Solutions. Second, research collaboration. And the third, Outreach Collaboration. But before we continue, let's watch the CTICFF Regional Secretariat Executive Director Mr. Widi, a practical PhD speech. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of CTICF President Secretariat, I would like to cordially welcome you all uh, to this meeting. It is an honor to me to be this very important meeting. This meeting is a unique platform to start a new step of engagement and partnership involving the important role of university in the programmatic approach and implementation implementing regional plan of action along with other activities under the framework of CTICFF. Hopefully we end up with recommendations. To conclude my opening remark, I would like to encourage and reiterate the meeting to produce a set pragmatic approaches, viable work plan, and tangible outcome under CTICFF University Partnership. Once again, I would like to convey my high gratitude and appreciation to all participants for the effort and valuable time attending the important meeting. Let's create a momentum and build solid engagement on university partnership under CTI CFF umbrella. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Now, let's see how the three focus discussions will be delivered during the event. Focus of discussion one, capacity building, challenges, and strategic solutions. CTI CFF goals related terms, CISCAP, EAFM, MPA, climate change, and threatened species. Before we continue, let's hear to Mr. Muhammad Lukman, Head of Technical Program CTI CFF, about focus on discussion one in general. Capacity building is a 
um, very important approach in, in this initiation, CTICF initiation, um, to achieve our regional plan of action goals in conserving the coral reef ecosystem, sustainable um, fisheries, and to make sure the, the food security. NCC Indonesia warmly welcome to the University Partnership initiated by the Regional Secretariat to support the achievement of the Regional Plan of Action, especially for the capacity building, research and community outreach. The University and Research Institute have the strength in terms of the experts, thus CTICF could collaborate to improve and strengthen the quality of the, our program. And CC Indonesia hope through the university partnership, all the, all the CTI CFA program in regional and the national level produce high quality output and outcome with strong scientific measures. Finally, all agreed output from this meeting is expected to be implemented collaboratively in timely manner so that it could be preserved by communities, especially in our region. Yeah, we suggest uh, that to get uh, things moving, especially on the, the role of CTI uh, uh, countries and how uh, we can provide uh, supporting the capacity building. So we are suggesting that we're going to have a, a CTI uh, universities that uh, going to be hosted by only one uh, universities from the members country maybe and going to be supported by the existing um, postgraduate program from each of the member countries and then this will provide the student uh, mobility from each of the members countries and uh, academic mobility from each of the members country as well. I would like to emphasize that during two days meeting, the first meeting of the university partnership within the city uh, area, uh, there is uh, come to the two uh, proposed programs. First is establishment of the Coral Triangle University Consortium, will, which uh, will have a, a, a specific program on the international master of science programs, on the subject of uh, coral triangle ecosystem governance and we will uh, set up the international uh, master programs in the host universities which be selected uh, letters and will be uh, managed coordinated and implemented through the coral triangle university consortium which is consists of the, all of the universities partners within the city six uh, countries and also the other uh, country members the second one is that uh, we agreed to have a regional training for increasing the or strengthening the capacity of uh, national uh, NCC's uh, management staff on two subjects. The first is the regional training on public engagement, including the uh, uh, diplomacy skill, how to increase the skill of social media, social media uh, uh, governance or management as well as how to increase the awareness of the public to the coral trainings. The second subject of the regional training uh, which has been proposed is in the context of how to increase the project and program management skill that consists of the uh, modules on how to uh, make a better and best planning implementation, monitoring and evaluation. Um, it's a great, great opportunity to meet with colleagues and universities um, and representatives from NCC from the different six member states. Um, and we have been talking about um, the challenges and the mechanisms in building capacity across the six member states with the universities. Um, um, and there is the opportunity to, to build a community of practice around um, teaching and learning and research um, and to really lift the, the capacity of within the universities of the type of teaching, the quality of teaching they're offering and then effectively lift the research um, 
CPSCFF National Coordinating Committee of Timor Leste. We are here with representative of local university, National University of Timor Leste, to explore the collaborations and cooperation among local universities that in the end will be beneficial for the NCC of Timor Leste. As we are all aware, capacity building is one of the important programs in the format of university partnership. For instance, one of the problems we are facing is illegal, unreported, unregulated fishing in our territory. Through the learning exchange and exchange of information, it is in our hope that scientists from universities may come up with the best solution fit to combat illegal fishing. The involvement of uh, National Coordinating Committee of Timor Leste with local university is really beneficial, especially for Timor Leste. So hopefully, in the future, the result of the similar meeting and workshop may be disseminated and to enhance the capacity of CTSFF National Coordinating Committee of Timor Leste. Continuing the first focus of discussion, let's move to proposed focus of discussion to research collaboration. CTA CFF goals related themes, CISCAM, EAFM, MPA, climate change, and threatened species. Now, let's hear to Mr. Muhammad Lukman, head of the technical program CTA CFF, about focus on discussion to in general. One of the principles of CTICFF um, is the management should, should be based on solid science. And that's why um, we, we really support the initiation to, to do some research collaboration within the university among the six, um, city six countries in order to achieve the outcomes of CTICFF, which is um, first, we need to make sure that coral reef ecosystem integrity and services is maintained. And the second uh, higher outcomes of the city ICFM is the fish stock assessment, uh, uh, fish stock improved and sustained. So in, in, do, in achieving these two um, higher outcomes, we need more uh, research cooperation which can address also cross-cutting or emerging issues in the region. First of all, CPI uh, Coral Triangle Initiative is a very uh, sophisticated program that addressing a very uh, modern um, uh, way of managing the Coral Triangle region. Uh, therefore, uh, in the guiding principle of CPI, uh, it is very clear that uh, Coral Triangle Initiative implementation has to be based on strong science. Uh, that means that we need to do a lot of uh, research uh, in order to be able to uh, 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 conduct uh, better the implementation of the coral trend. The research, of course, needs to be uh, conducted, uh, need to be conducted in uh, a much more strategic way. Innovation starts at the university level and spreads from there. Working across the maritime ecosystem with industry, government, academia, NGOs and local communities is critical to creating sustainable solutions and partnerships. An inter-ministry related program is needed to create a good synergy in implementing a comprehensive and integrated research collaborations. Last but not least, let us explore the proposed focus of discussion tree outreach collaboration. CTICFF goals related themes CISCAP, EAFM, MPA, climate change, and threatened species. Finally, let's hear to Mr. Muhammad Lukman. Head of Technical Program, CTA CFF, about focus on discussion training in general. Another important issue in outreach program that um, offer, or proposed by the uh, university partnership meeting is um, how to encourage or how to uh, propose a more internet-based lecture. So each university can provide lecture which can be uploaded to the um, 
to the available uh, social media and whatsoever or what, whatever media provided to, um, to boost uh, the exchange knowledge between uh, students also between uh, lecturers among the countries. Uh, from the point of view of uh, of rich collaboration, uh, I would like to see a more down-to-earth transformation from knowledge uh, acquisition from research to real-world application for the benefit of the coastal communities. Uh, at the moment, the, uh, the scientific activities uh, related to coral reefs uh, is maybe too academic in some sense. So we need to be more um, uh, on the uh, uh, implementation of the results. More applicable, more applicable uh, solutions, real solutions to the, uh, for the benefit of the coastal community. Uh, my opinion for the university partnership uh, outcome, uh, I would suggest if for immediate action, uh, it would be proper or good to help uh, for the universities to help with the outreach programs uh, by releasing of the students. Uh, to carry out awareness on our behalf because sometimes uh, we don't have the capacity or in human resource to go out into the local areas. Uh, we have to think on how the six member states with different universities have similar perception for the human resource. Therefore, it is important to establish a university partnership in many areas of our work, we actually need to partner up or to work with universities. And these provide us the avenue and the framework of how GIZ can actually work and coordinate better with those selected universities. For example, currently we are already working with one of those universities, uh, which is University of Malaysia, Terengganu. We have a one undergoing research with them. And we hope that we will have even more collaboration with other potential partner universities. We are assigned to facilitate the cooperation between two countries, Indonesia and Malaysia, both in basic education and higher education levels. Embassy of Indonesia to Malaysia is happy and ready to facilitate the meeting and mobility to realize the commitment of this university partnership. Now, let's hear what the chair of the first CTICFF University Partnership Meeting says about the particular event. Um, I think this meeting is very strategic because um, what we are having in this meeting is bringing new partners to the CTI. Uh, previously, we have uh, what we call partners. Partners is the NGO and also the private sectors. And we also have NCC. NCC is the formal entity for CTI, which is representing each country. Now, what we are doing is bringing university as an, the official partner of CTI at the regional level. Um, I think before this, university, the involvement of university in CTI is already there. This is not a new thing. In Malaysia, we have quite a you know, few universities that are engaging in CTI. But this new approach is, is, is better, I think, and more strategic because the partnership is, um, I would say, it is strengthened at the regional level. It is, I think, personally, I would like to see from this meeting is to really look into the, um, the mechanism. We must really establish a mechanism where we can bring the university and support them to contribute to the CTI in a much better way compared to previously. And in order to do that, I think coordination is very, very important. 
we really need to find coordination between NCC, between university, what is the role of regional, what is the role of NCC. It must be clearly defined because university is still within the jurisdiction of respective country. So whether they are allowed to go cross country or, you know, but that will be defined, uh, it should be defined in this meeting. And I think that would definitely strengthen CTI. Thank you.